Hi everybody, I'm Stephanie and welcome to Sewing with Stephanie. Today I'm going to teach you how to create your own raglan sleeve drape to create raglan sleeves, kimono sleeves, or any other design sleeve that you'd like to create. Before we get started, make sure you click subscribe below, give me a thumbs up, and follow along with all of my creations on my blog, thestylesafari.com, or on my Instagram, at thestylesafari. Let's get started. The first step in draping your raglan sleeve is drawing out that design line with your eighth inch satin ribbon. You can see I've drawn out the line from the neck, underneath the armhole, and up to the back of the neck. That's the design line that we're going to use to create our sleeve. And then you would drape your bodice design separately, just as you've draped before. In order to drape the raglan sleeve, what we want to do is use a piece of cardstock to build out the shape of the arm and then drape on top of it. If you happen to have a sleeve attachment for your mannequin, you can use that as well. I actually find this to be a very easy way to drape a raglan or a kimono sleeve. I have a piece here that's maybe like 10 inches by 14. You can kind of play around, it doesn't really matter. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pin it on top and then I'm going to actually unpin the ribbon so that the ribbon is so that the ribbon is on top of the cardstock. And then I'll just pin the cardstock to my mannequin. Now that I have this pinned out, I'm actually gonna cut it a little shorter because this um, piece of cardstock is probably a little big and unwieldy to drape on. So now I have my cardstock arm built out on the shoulder underneath the seam lines that I've already pinned onto the mannequin. I'm gonna grab a piece of muslin, pretty large depending on how big the sleeve design you want to do is. And of course the green line is always marked. And I'm gonna drape that muslin right over the cardstock arm. And I'm gonna begin pinning along the neckline to start, very similar to what we always do. A few pins here at the neckline, and then I will trim to relieve the folds at the neck. As always, make sure you cut straight to that pinpoint to remove any of the eyelash whisker pulls and then trim your fabric back so that you can really see how smooth the muslin is sitting along that cardstock. Then just continue to pin and cut along the seam lines at the, begin at the front and back of the raglan sleeve. I've put just a few pins in the front and back, and then I'm gonna use my pen and start marking off a bit of this so that I really know where the lines are falling for this. I'm gonna mark around the neck. And you can really feel through to see where that ribbon is in order to connect those lines. Once you've marked about half of that sleeve, let's start trimming away the fabric. So now I've trimmed up along the raglan sleeve line, but I actually have a little bit too much cardstock here to continue my drape under the arm. So I'm just gonna pull it back and I'm gonna trim a little bit of this cardstock away. Now that I've trimmed some of that cardstock away, before I go complete to the underarm, I'm gonna assess the length of the sleeve. One easy way to assess the length is simply to stand you know, in front of or behind your mannequin to decide how long you want to have that sleeve. You can always, of course, lengthen or shorten the end of the cuff of the sleeve later when you're chewing up your pattern. For now, I'm gonna trim right about here to just remove some of that fabric and make it easier to drape. Now that I've cut the length of the sleeve, I can just continue pinning around and underneath the arm. It can get a little tricky because you're pulling the fabric around the cardboard, but you have to remember that an arm is a bit more malleable than this piece of cardboard. So you just wanna follow that gentle curve. And if you need to move or fold the cardstock at any time, you can absolutely can. I just continue to pin and drape around this design line until I get to the underarm side seam. I'm gonna go back in and make a few trimming points here. Oftentimes a raglan sleeve tends to have a lower armhole than a set in sleeve. That's part of the design. It's very similar to a kimono drape. Because of that, you're gonna start with a wider piece of fabric up top that you may want 
or you may decide to taper in more at the wrist or the cuff. Or you can start with a much closer drape when you are really designing that design line. And it can be a little bit trickier because you might see a bit more of a pull in the fabric. That's okay, it's because of the cardboard. The important thing to know is that when you pull of this design off the mannequin, it really should look very similar underneath the armhole to a regular sleeve. What's changed is basically from about mid armhole up, the part that connects to the bodice and goes up to the neck. That's where we've extended this design and added more room and more length and height into the regular sleeve design. And then lastly, I'm gonna take the two remaining bits underneath the arm and attach those. Just so I can assess really if I feel like I have a wide enough opening underneath the armhole and I can create the shape. You may decide that you want that armhole to flare out more or it may get really skinny. And this is where you want to, you know, just decide how you want to that sleeve to look. I'm actually going to use my ruler and take the point from the underarm just to draw kind of a loose line to help me true it up later. And then I'll do the same thing on the back side. Now let's trim away that excess and then reassess if we have any fullness that we need here. So now we have our wrap and sleeve draped out on the mannequin with the cardstock. The next step would be to go back in and take out the cardstock that we used to extend that drape and then repin this on the mannequin to just double check we like the way the arm falls, how it sits on the shoulder. So let's do that. So now I have removed the cardstock from underneath the sleeve and repinned, trimmed, and highlighted the seam lines on my drape. You can see it's very clean. It's a very easy drape to see. You can see the cross grain going right across and how that's gonna fall if you decide to use a patterned fabric. It will fall nicely right across the top of the shoulder there. The back of the drape is very similar to the front and you can see both pieces just connect at that underarm. The next step would be to leave this on the mannequin and then drape your bodice panel for the front and the back, making sure that they connect underarm at the exact same place. Don't forget to true up your patterns, and there you have it, a raglan sleeve drape. The reason I like the method of using the cardstock is because the drape will already have ease of movement already built in. Because we are draping with the arm and the cardstock out straight, you will already know that you have enough movement in that drape for the arm. It might appear that there's extra fabric underneath the armhole, but that's standard for a raglan drape. Because you are not setting straight into the shoulder, you will need an extra bit of fabric there for ease of movement. If you're interested in draping a kimono sleeve, you can follow a very, very similar process by just using a much larger piece of muslin, removing the seam lines here, and then draping the entire thing over connecting to the bodice. You may decide that you have other seam lines or darts that you want to put into your design, which is totally fine, but you can use that exact same method. Now that I have the raglan sleeve sloper, I can slash and spread it using my flat patterning method to create variations similar to any other pattern. So I can spread it and create a gather. I can make it into panels or tiers or anything else in order to fulfill my design needs. Thanks so much for following along with Sewing with Stephanie today. I love teaching you about raglan sleeves and I can't wait to see what you make. See you later.